Now, the origin of language, according to those that I've read, who have written, is that we started off without words, and then we became what is called pre-verbal. We uh, mumbled, we, uh, we grunted, you know, like people do today, you know, and, and then we got words, and we became verbal. And our society, which I'm an example right now, is verbal. Right? But words limit. Words give you knowledge with a small k. They don't give you knowledge with a big k. There are so much more that we can take into ourselves. There's so much more that can cause us to, to grow, to be aware, if words didn't get in the way. And T.S. Eliot, who made a fortune out of writing words, uh, sort of said this. But, but so I've decided now that I can do far more by not talking, by doing metaverbal, beyond, meta is beyond, beyond words, not pre-words, but beyond words, metaverbal. I can do a lot more to help people by being metaverbal. Words don't get to the heart. We can, we can deceive ourselves that they do, but they really don't. We are, words are stumbling blocks. There's, I can do much more without words than I ever could with words. I know healers who don't talk at all, who do wonderful, wonderful work. Wonderful, wonderful work. The same as a musician can do wonderful, wonderful work without having to talk, without having to talk. Now, um, it is said that many of the uh, Zen masters, when they reached the age of about 65, they would realize that words don't get, you know, get anywhere. They would stop uh, you know, lecturing. They would stop uh, uh, writing. They would stop reading. And they would start painting. They would start painting. Now, let me see if I can pronounce it. Rabindra, Rabindranov, Rabindranath, no? Rabindranath Tagore, T-A-G-R-R-E, was probably, the, the, in modern times, the greatest, uh, uh, certainly the greatest Bengali, probably the greatest Indian writer and poet. Wrote. Prolific, prolific amount of material. Got, got the Nobel Prize, the first Nobel Prize for poetry in 1913, I think it was. And, and when he was 70, he said, it's much more important for me to paint than talk. Well, he said that, but he, he, then, he then painted. And so I've come to the same thing, that uh, I can, I think, help more people through my painting and my photography and the music and the other creative endeavors than with words, because words are limited. What I'm saying to you now you know, may be in your brain and you may be agreeing in your brain, but your heart will do more, which is what matters to me, by looking at one of these and me shutting up. My talking is stopping you looking, stopping you taking in. Do, do you understand? So that's why I, I think as one gets older, you know, I'm approaching middle age now, that, that well, it's felt, <laughs> that's all I get, right, okay. Well, it, it gets, you realize that there's, that to, to communicate from as deep a level as possible, words get in the way. I, I hope that they cause you to come into the door, but from then on, metaverbal will take you further than, than all the words. Is that, do you understand that? Right? And just think, if someone says to you, I love you, or if they smile with their eyes, I mean, not the, not the Richard Widmark smile, he used to smile from below his eyes, you know? But if you smile, if you have a real smile, which do you believe more? Someone who says, I love you, or someone whose smile is really giving love? Now, the baby doesn't know words. The mother says, I love you. It doesn't mean a hang. But if the mother smiles, the baby is 
wonderful. She, he feels, now he feels loved by her. All right? Now later, uh, also, she may, she may coo and make all sorts of baby sounds. I used to ask mothers to make some of these sounds at public meetings. They were too embarrassed to do it, so I won't ask you today. But, but these cooing sounds are not words. It's, it's sound, it's voice, it's money, but it's not words. But if she says, you know, darling, I really think you're a wonderful child. I'm very glad I had you, and so is your father, and I want to thank you very much for coming into our life. <laughs> what the bloody hell, right? So, see, it's, it's a smile that makes, it's the, it's the, and that's metaverbal. That transmission of love, the smile is very, very metaverbal, beyond verbal. You know the word better, where it comes from, like physics. And then Aristotle had metaphysics because it's, it's beyond the book called physics. You see? So be, beyond verbal, beyond the words, is the emotion that we somehow desiccate when we try to convey it with words. Okay?